pulling of this because um, now I'm bound. I finally got it to bind. And what did I do to get this to bind? This is the FR Sky XM receiver. And it's taken me about two days to bind it. Um, well, I've hooked it up. Obviously, that needs sorting out. Forget that. But it took me about two days to work out how to bind it to the jumper TS8 T8SG. Now, initially, I just kept going to FR Sky, but as it's an FR Sky XM receiver, I, you have to go to FR Sky X and the other thing, which is catching a lot of people out at the moment, is uh, the type of uh, setting that it's on because you've got FCC and then you've got EU. And what you have to do, which I haven't seen one video on yet, is you have to put it onto FR Sky X. Obviously, it's got to be on FR Sky X because it's an XM receiver. But FR Sky X, then you press enter on FR Sky, and then you go into a second menu, which you can then go down and find the format, either EU or FCC. And it was on FCC before, it wasn't binding. I put it on EU, and it bound straight away. And that's how I got around that. So that's how you bind the FR Sky XM receiver to a jumper T8SG. And all I've seen are videos with, uh, there's 101 videos on how to bind this to a Tyrannus. No shit, really? Okay. Uh, you can find about 500 videos on how to bind that to a Tyrannus, like someone's planting a new flag somewhere. Anyway, that's how you bind it. If you've had a problem with it, if I got XM receiver and you can't bind it, make sure you've put it on uh, on the multi pro because it's multi protocol. Obviously, not just FR Sky; it's got to be on FR Sky X. Then go into FR Sky X and set it to non FCC or rather EU. Then bind, and you get the green light. It took me three days to work out, but there you go.